Welcome back. It's time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. Today we're talking about concussion testing. And with us here today is Laura Walker with the Covenant Injury Prevention Program. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, of course, it's always super important to bring awareness to concussions. Tell us why that is. Because it's a huge injury. Um, I think you need to think of it as like a sprain, a sprain to your brain. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about athletes and they sprain their ankle, uh, you don't just send them back to play. It right. hurts, so they stop it. Um, concussion is a sprain to the brain. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah, it is. Now, after experiencing a concussion, when can athletes return back to the sport they're playing? So every athlete is different, but what they need to do is take time. Mm -hmm. They have to rest. They have to relax. When they are 24 hours free of a concussion, mm -hmm. um, then we start returning them to gradual play. So meaning, all right, so the first day after you've been 24 hour free, you're going to start with walking. Let's see how you do with that. Do any of the symptoms return? Okay. This has to be done in collaboration with a physician, obviously, to give the final say to get these students back playing. Okay. Now, there is testing that can be done prior to an athlete uh, playing sports. Tell us about that. So, a lot of high schools offer baseline testing. Baseline testing can be either computerized or it can be on paper. Mm -hmm. And what that is is just a basic test that says where you're at at a neurocognitive level. Mm -hmm. So, really what that means is how is your memory? How is your reaction time? And they do it, typically speaking, the beginning of a season mm -hmm. and the freshman year. As long as nothing happens, they don't need to repeat it throughout their um, high school athlete career. Okay. Um, however, if they do suffer a concussion, it is another tool to use to help diagnose the concussion and see how they're progressing. So what they'll do is possibly retake that test mm -hmm. and compare the two test results. Okay, now is it ever too late for baseline testing? Absolutely not, um, unless they've recently had a concussion. Mm -hmm. So the best way is to do it at the beginning of a season before the sport starts. Mm -hmm. and. Um, then move on from there. Okay, now tell us about testing that's offered at Covenant. So Covenant offers baseline testing. We do it in collaboration with some of the high schools. Mm -hmm. um, we use um, impact concussion testing. Mm -hmm. And what that is, it's one of the best ones out there. It actually is very simple to administer to students. So we work with the area student uh, high schools that already have it. Okay. And we serve as like a point of refer reference to them. Mm -hmm. And then um, with schools that do not have it, we sometimes will go in and offer the testing for free. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And so at this point, uh, luckily through Covenant Kids Foundation, mm -hmm. um, on Sunday, we will be offering um, test for individual students wow. and it is free so okay. if anyone is interested they can contact the trauma program and um, make an appointment for that. Awesome. Now tell us about how do uh, these athletes recover from a concussion? So everyone recovers differently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes someone will have a concussion in a game and the next day feel fine. Others take days or weeks mm -hmm. so it's individually it's different. If you ever notice that your athlete is not recovering you have to follow up with your family physician, obviously. Right. And there's also other tests that are out there and other therapies that you can ask them from. We do offer those through our physical therapy department. All righty, very helpful information for football season. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you'd like any additional information on today's topic, concussion awareness or baseline testing, just head on over to the hot links page on WNEM.com.